Everything Hi. Homemade! Hi everyone, I'm Rita Peterson with Everything Homemade and this afternoon I'm going to make a big pot of chili. I have guests coming for the weekend and it's a quick and easy, let's say, supper and then I can serve it again for lunch. Um, that'll take care of a couple of meals. It's easy, it's simple, uh, most people like it and um, it's fast. Okay, so this is how I make it. Now there is hundreds of variations on how to make chili. I'm using the ingredients that I have today in the house. Please feel free to add anything you want. Make it spicier, uh, make it more mild. It's totally up to you, but I'm gonna show you what our family really likes and then, and then you can take it from there, okay? So let's introduce my children that are helping me. This is Orion, he's nine. He's gonna be my chopper today. Um, we're gonna have Annika here who's three and she's gonna be peeling whatever she can do this recipe um, Is a bit harder for a three-year-old, but she'll have lots of fun peeling onions and garlic and helping out there, right? So what do you need now what I like to put in of course we have some onions here um, I have some carrots that we're gonna chop up some celery. Um, I have some tomato paste here um, garlic garlic here and then if you come over here, I have my big stock pot. And what I'm going to do is inside here, if you want to film in there, Ocean. Oh, I forgot to introduce you, Ocean. Ocean is my filmer. She's eight and doing a wonderful job. So I'm going to put on my hot plate to um, medium high heat. And I'm going to get this melted, this coconut oil here, because I'm going to take my hamburger, which is over here. I have about two pounds of hamburger here and I'm going to throw that into the pot and get that frying already so all the juices and flavor of the meat is already in the pot. Okay, so as we just heat that up, let, let the hot plate um, heat melt the coconut oil, let's get back to here. So a chili, you can make, you can add potatoes if you want, but what I like to do is to get this pot of chili and then serve it with some biscuits. Um, and I will um, include other videos with that um, link on how to make biscuits. I'm gonna include um, ones that are gluten-free and ones that are not, so you can have a mixture and ideas. Okay, let's get started. So while we're waiting for that, we are going to do some chopping here. So I'm gonna get Orion to chop some celery. Now we're gonna cut off the ends here to this. Now. For me, it goes into my chicken bucket or container because my chickens love eating celery. So Ryan, I'm gonna get you to chop them something like this, okay? And we're gonna put them all into this bowl. So you go ahead and start chopping. I wanna remember to take the ends off of these ones. Yeah. Okay, so I want something like this. Yeah, and Annika is gonna peel some onions for me. And as she does that, I'm gonna peel this one. Now, one trick with onions, come with me. My kids like to laugh at me a bit, but I go into my drawer here, and I have ski goggles. Now, before I was married, I skied. But now that I'm married with kids and life has changed, I don't ski anymore, but I found a new use for my ski goggles. I have really sensitive eyes. So I take my glasses off, and I put on my ski goggles. And what happens is, now I won't cry, nor will my eyes burn. Um, and, and although your eyes may burn <laughs> when I start cutting an onion. And if one of my children start crying or something happens, I can just take off my ski goggles and I'm not having tears. So this is my way of saving my eyes. All right, so Annika, you just make a pile here, and she's gonna peel these. And I'm gonna peel this one here. And this is, the ski goggles, I find is a really good tip and idea for dealing with onions. So we're just, we take off, what I do is I take off the first layer here, because this, this layer is when, when they cure it, it's always harder. Okay, yeah, I'll get that one on Annika. Do you want this leafy part cut off? Yeah, let's give it to the chickens. So then I have my onion here. 
And I'm going to coarsely chop this at first because what I'm going to do is put in my food, um, in my blender. And we're going to take a quick moment break and we'll get right back, back to the swing of things. Okay, so Annika is just going to place the onions that I cut into my blend tech. Now, I'm only doing this, I could chop it up um, very fine. I'm doing this because some people, like my husband, don't really care for seeing onions, so we're gonna make sure they're really small. And the blend tech lives on my counter. You can use a food processor, a mini chopper, anything like that. Um, anyway, I'm putting the garlic and the onion in. Now, another way to do garlic is you can separate the clove here. You can take your knife and you just press down on it. What happens is it loosens all of the um, paper wrapping around it and then it makes it a lot easier to throw in. Okay, now so we're going to get this blended up and then we're going to mix it in with the hamburger. Good job, Annika. Okay, come over here. Yeah, you can turn it on. So Annika, uh, you turn right there, press that button right there. Yeah, press it, lightly. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look over here. Now I have ha the hamburger in the pot and it is right now um, simmering away. Find the way in there, and I'm going to just have it simmer the onions as well and the garlic. Now, if you like your onions a little bigger, no big deal. Again, personalize this to your family's likes and needs. If I put something in here you family's allergic to or can't handle, go right ahead and omit it. This is the beauty of cooking. I'm only giving you ideas and you bounce the ideas off, off of my stuff and create something of your own or follow exactly. Cooking is an adventure. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up a bit. Then I'm going to put the lid back on and get back to chopping. So chili is really nice because you can make it a day ahead of time and you are then good for a couple of days. In fact, if you can make it the night before or the day before, it uh, tastes better the next day. So I'm going to take off my ski goggles, the back of my glasses here, and we are going to chop some carrots. I'm just going to clear my board here. Okay, so I like them just uh, in circles here. The bigger ones I chop in half. Can I get some carrots? Just wait. No, you can't chop carrots, Annika. Okay, so I just kind of chop them up here, okay? Just like that. And then, and then I put them into the bowl. So I'm going to chop the rest of these carrots up. I'm going to get them into the bowl and hopefully the hamburger will be done and then I'll, so I'll see you back in about 5-10 minutes, okay? Okay, so this is my hamburgers done frying, right here. So now let's talk about some spices a bit in here. Now I am cooking for a group with mixed adults and my five kids plus two other children. I don't want to make this so spicy at all, okay? It was different if this was all adults. I would throw some jalapeno peppers, I would throw some cayenne in it, spice it up, but in this case, I want it to be flavorful, but not so hot, okay? So I'm gonna choose chili powder, and I'm gonna choose paprika. Um, they're milder spices, and most children can handle it, but it gives us adults the enough flavor we like, okay? So in here, I'm going to put some chili powder. Now I'm probably putting a good two to three, even four tablespoons in here because I like flavor. And then I have some paprika in here, again probably about two tablespoons. And then of course some pepper.
Sometimes I think I should get a faster pepper and just grind a whole bunch. But anyway. And then some salt. So I'm going to cheat here a little bit. I'm going to open up my salt shaker and just measure in my hand. Now remember, this is for a big pot. So it might look like a lot of salt, but you got to understand that this is a huge pot. So it's probably a, a good, a heaping teaspoon. Salt gives flavor. So, and, and a good salt is good for you. So I'm going to mix that around. Hopefully I'm... Okay. Mmm, that's starting to smell good. Mm. Okay, so mm. now that my hamburger's fried, my onions are fried with it, I want to add some broth. Now, just back up that camera a little bit there, Ocean. This is broth that I have made and I have froze a whole bunch. Now, these are my last two broths. So they're about four cups. I'm about four cups of broth. Um, it'll be, it's going to be really nice because one of the next future videos here, I have to make broth for my family and because I will be out after this, there is no more broth in my freezer. So we'll make some nice bone broth. So we're going to add some broth here and you can see some of it is still a bit, um, frozen. So I'm just going to break that up a bit. And I'm going to put the heat to high and just so that quickly thaws out. I'm going to mix that up. And as that thawing out, this is when I'm going to add in my vegetables. So I'm going to get Orion to add in my vegetables here. The ones that we cooked over here. So just dump all that in right on. Just wait, Annika, not the tomato paste yet. Mm. Annika's very excited. She wants to add in the tomato paste. And she doesn't quite understand that we're not quite ready for it yet. So we're going to just mix that in. And if you need to, add a little more water. And I'm going to maybe just add a little bit more in here. Not too much, maybe about just a cup more water. like that that'll be perfect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just now bring this up to a boil and let it simmer for a half an hour yeah. I'm going to walk away do something else let it simmer and then I'll be back here in about a half an hour we'll add the tomato paste finish it right off taste test it um, add some brown beans I have some sorry not brown bean black beans I have some black beans already cooked in this pot now to prepare black beans you can either cook them like I did. I soaked them the night before. However amount you do, you soak about four inches higher with water. Then cook them the morning of done. Um, you would discard the water, put fresh water in, cook them, or you can open a can. You can add any kind of beans here, okay? Chickpeas, um, kidney beans, black beans, brown, uh, not brown, white beans, pinto beans, anything. Your heart desires. I have black beans going in here because I like the contrast. We have orange, if you take a look, we got orange and green in here. We got, you know, reds and browns. A little bit of black just kind of pops it, okay? Um, corn would be good in here too, if you like to, for, for color-wise. Um, so I'm kind of looking at this with how it tastes, but also color, because we eat when food looks good. So I will see you back in about a half an hour. We'll let this simmer, not on a heavy boil, just a nice light simmer, 30 minutes until the carrots and celery are tender. Then we will add everything else in. See you in 30, 30 minutes. minutes past. Take a look at this. All right. The vegetables are nicely done. I've, t I've tasted one. They're just nice and tender, not mushy. I wish you guys could smell this because, oh man, it smells good. So the last ingredients here, tomato paste. You can also put tomato sauce in. You could put diced tomatoes in. Whatever your heart feels like, you can add in. You could add in, in raw tomatoes and cooked if it was available to you. Okay. So I add in two of these. And 
these ones are, what are they? 369 milliliters each. So I'm putting in two. All right. I'm gonna mix that around. Can't have chili without tomatoes. I'm just gonna mix that in. And I'll thicken it up too. As that heats up, I'm going to come here and I'm going to get my beans in. Remember I said we were going to add in black beans? Okay, so just back up there, Ocean. I'm going to add in my black beans. This is one big pot. It's not blocking. So I'm going to add this in. No, not right now, Annika. Just wait. So I'm going to add this in. Mix it up and take a look at that color. Now I had drained these beans before so I wouldn't add in the black water that comes from them. And take a look at that. It just adds in such a nice color to it. The other secret ingredient is honey. Honey just brings all the flavors together. So I'm going to add a little bit of honey. Now this is about two tablespoons in here. Not a lot, but it just rounds the flavors up. Um, it takes the edge off it, especially when I'm cooking with a lot of kids coming for supper. It just oh makes it so good and it melts right away. So now let's do a taste test. Let's do a taste test here. So I want to see how the spices are. Do I have to add more chili? Do I have to add more paprika? Anything like that. Oh. Maybe a little bit of salt. Maybe not. There's a little bit of kick in the back of my throat, but not too bad. It is absolutely delicious. This is one thing that I wish I could just scoop it and give it to you guys to try because it is so good. This will even taste better. Now we're going to eat this tomorrow. So it's going to even taste better for supper tomorrow night. Oh, this is just delicious. Simple ingredients makes such a delicious chili. Again, throw whatever you want in there. Be creative. There's so many things you could throw in to this. I want to hear from you. Um, share share you even share your recipes ideas other people can can read that's what cooking's all about it's about sharing it's about the adventure of tasting it i just i absolutely love it and i love sharing with you guys take care see you on the next video